What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of my Aussie Journeyman series in Football Manager 2019. If you are enjoying this series and just my Football Manager 2019 videos in general, make sure to leave a comment and a big thumbs up on the video. would greatly appreciate that. Let's see if we can smash 100 likes for this video here today. And you know there hasn't been uh, many uploads over the past week or so because, you know... <laughs> the process of uh, moving house to you guys. Maybe you think it's been uh, taking a long time. Uh, just uh, think about it for me in terms of moving all my stuff into my new place and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh, with a few other personal things as well this week. So yeah, once that gets done, uh, hopefully should be this weekend. So yeah, you can see I'm progressing towards that not long now. I did want to try and get this one recorded today for you guys, though, even though today has been a busy one. I want to get this one out for you guys. Uh, I was going to play a bit more games off camera to progress through it, but I thought just to get a video out for you guys to see an update uh, that I am still alive. Someone actually messaged me if I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, that was funny, but yeah, just being very busy. Hopefully you guys understand that over this uh, period. I'm sure you guys, if you move house, you understand uh, that kind of situation. But anyway, uh, we just played the three games um, in December here uh, from the last episode. And we've been we've been on some good form. I feel like I'm hitting my stride now. Uh, the lads are hitting their stride as well. Uh, just... Uh, gelling, <laughs> gelling together quite nicely. Uh, that's three wins in a row. Uh, keeping clean sheets as well, very important. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. And I did want to play a game against Melbourne City. Uh, always a big match. <laughs> always uh, big, big rivals the two Melbourne clubs in the A League. Uh, if you were under <laughs> unaware of that, but you could probably see that from the outside as well. You imagine it'll be really big, but. I don't want to say unfortunately, I can't say it that too unhappily uh, myself. <laughs> yeah, Melbourne City sitting the bottom of the league. So we approach this one as, yeah, it's away from home, but yeah, not really away from home. <laughs> we should have we should have a good victory off this form. So uh, let's just see. Uh, let's just see how we're going to go. And with the approaching January as well, uh, we'll see the moves we uh, can, potentially, uh, can potentially make over that period. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a situation where we, it's, uh, the registration, uh, all the different rules. Again, if you're coming across this just now, it's pretty similar to the MLS, not exactly the same, uh, but some different rules in terms of the foreign players, especially the minimum with that and uh, squad salary with the salary caps, uh, for the A-League especially makes it a bit tough to have a really, really strong squad but it makes it competitive, a competitive league to manage in as well. And also, of course, through this journeyman series, I always got to have the future in mind. What am I going to do? This is not always completely going to be within Australia, but, you know, yeah, this is an Aussie journeyman. It's not exactly how it's always going to be in terms of, like I said, it's not going to be managing in Australia like because it's only one competitive league, you know what I mean, one professional league. It's going to be more so my journey, my journey becoming a classic a classic manager, you know, uh, Aussie manager to do it, <laughs> to do it on a really big scale at least to succeed. So yeah, of course we've been changing tactics up a little bit, just experimenting to see how we go. But uh, even from the last couple of matches, I've made some changes. It all really depends on the opposition. Always got to be on the roll, always on the fly. Uh, off previous, uh, even with wins, I've got to be judging the positives, but also the negatives in the game. Even if they're, they're wins, we don't concede, but there's still always uh, things you can improve on, that is for sure. So, you can take a look at Melbourne City sides. A lot of you guys may not be sure. If you're not from Australia yourself, uh, let me know if you are or not, how many of, how many of you guys from Australia. I might have to look at my stats <laughs> uh, compared to the Aussie viewers, compared to my normal videos, or not in this series, if it tracks a bit more. Uh, could be interesting. But anyway, I was just wondering how many of you guys uh, out there and where are you from just in general? That would be pretty cool. But anyway, we've been a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. That's all I'll say as we go into the tunnel. Uh, no surprises here. Uh, I'm looking forward to the game. Alan City are always tough opponent. Yeah, I think that's a good way to go into it. Um, just being rested, I suppose. Oh, Carl Valeri, 100th league appearance. Very good player, very good player. So, yeah, his 100th appearance. Uh, he's been fantastic. Okay. Yeah, always tremendous. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I always say similar stuff with these as well, guys. So, 
uh, yeah, we just got to get into this and get the result. Hopefully, uh, we're playing on positive at the moment. Sometimes I change that. Might drop back to balance if we're, well, away from home <laughs> in another state. If we're playing against another club and a good team as well, like I said. So, let's see what we can do here. Uh, Melbourne City are going to whip that in. And they almost score very, very early there. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Almost open the scoring like that. I want to continue to, yeah, keep these clean sheets. Now, Honda, his form has been improving uh, with some changes that's helped it. Can he get an assist here? Or could he set up a good ball? Poyet. Okay. Poyet, very good signing. Very good signing. Potentially could light up the A-League. Toivonen! Oof. Decent effort. That wasn't terrible at all. Uh, our first real chance of the game, though. We could be could be doing a bit better than that. Uh, really, it seems to be a bit tight, though. 50% possession. Now it's Jamison. He's got the free kick. He whips it in. Oh, Osama Malik. He finds a way into the back of the net, and it was a bit of a scrappy goal, I think. Uh, we'll have to say, which also means we could have defended that a bit better. That was a good save, so maybe a bit unlucky. I'm not sure who's tumbling on the ground there. Uh, that was Brown, so that wasn't too impressive at all, guys. That uh, We should have easily, well, we could have easily prevented that one. Ah, uh, yeah, silly set-piece defending, really. Could have easily prevented that. And maybe a bit unlucky. It was a good initial save. Now, Valeri, come on, get the goal back. I'm disappointed. We were on a good run of keeping clean sheets. But maybe we could only do that for so long. Now, Honda. Come on, I'm just eyeing this chance right now. Now, Brown, he's been a solo player, but that was a poor touch. He hasn't been great. He hasn't been great in this match so far. So he's getting back, backtracking. And now they're getting a ball over to Vidosic. Vidosic! And he could not finish. Oh, guys, that, that chance was so close. So close, and... Hasn't been the greatest half by us. So we just got to go in. We're going to say assertively. Oh, show a bit of a desire. Uh, Barbarossa switched off. Yeah, he's kind of been eyeing a move, actually. Some other teams have showed interest. So, yeah, <laughs> it's no surprise he's the one to do that. Okay, coming in from the break. Let's see if we can turn this around a bit. Maybe let's push to attacking. See if we can get that goal back. Come on, I wanted to continue the run of wins. Okay, maybe. A goal here would be nice. To push on in the second half. It would be uh, plenty of time remaining to get a winner as well. But first we've got to think about <laughs> getting that first goal. As Ansel goes back to Thomas. Okay, ooh, that looked like a good long ball forward. But, ooh, good tackling. Good tackling in midfield. We've got to be careful... It's just a, such a tough battle in midfield there. Fornaroli is going to whip this in. Oh, no. No, 2-0. 50th league goal of the season. Oh, not league goal, sorry. I'm just... You could say, eighth goal of the season. I saw I saw the goal of the season and then 50th came up uh, uh, for his career as well. But <laughs> anyway, I'm just completely gone. We were just behind the eight ball. We were behind the eight ball with that goal conceded uh, initially. Unfortunately, I'm not oh, the touches, guys. I wish you saw our recent games <laughs> that we just play. We're playing fantastic stuff, and there's little glimpses, our passing and everything like that you've seen in this match. Those balls over the top. It's just Toivonen. Don't. Oh, I was going to say, don't waste it. It wasn't the worst effort, though. And we don't even get a corner from that, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tough to turn around. if we made some tactical changes here. Uh, we might need just some fresh legs. Uh, some fresh legs at this point. Who's not playing? The, yeah, James Troisi is not having a great game. Let's try and bring on Jai Ingham. Uh, Jai Ingham. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Barbarousis. Oh, that's... Probably not going to work as much, but he's again. The, we don't have many. We don't have so many options, so we're just going to have to leave that. We're going to have to leave that because uh, I want to leave Barbarous. I suppose it was one, either one of them. It, maybe we'll just have to revert back, and we'll bring Ingham on for Barbarousis. So it's a more fitting. It's a more fitting change. 
And you know Barbarossa didn't react so well to the team talk. There's that as well. We're going to push Poyet up. At, but yeah, push him to cent central midfield. Just, yeah, central midfield. He's not really got a great role in duty there. So that's all we can, that's all we can really do uh, at that point in terms of getting... Uh, Toivonen doesn't look like scoring today. <laughs> Just being honest. Let's bring on Kenny. He needs some game time as well. Put in Poacher. Kenny Athew. Let's see. Let's see. You gotta see something. Can we see a goal? <sighs> Come on. Come on. It's not 100% over if we get a goal from this highlight. We've got plenty, plenty time if we do to get another. But we just don't seem to be clicking in this one. With our chances, we've had a couple. We hasn't been terrible. And here he is, Kenny Athu. Oh, just a poor pass. Just a poor pass there, unfortunately. But hopefully we can butter up now and go forward. See, look at this. Controlling possession pretty well. It's just what we're going to do. That final product was not good. But Troisi will get it back. Honda. Honda, what a ball, Ingham. What a sub. What a sub. This is not over yet. Jai Ingham sensational and that's what we've been seeing in some recent matches here some very good attacks uh, great balls that set up the chance and the experience and class of honda how was that technique on that ball absolutely fantastic and ingham going into this season he's not known as one of the better players but he he stepped up he scored quite a few he scored quite a few for the for the <laughs> for the time he's had uh, for the time he's had, but Barbarus is top goal scorer. Uh, Ingham, he scored, he scored two, he scored two in a match. So it was just that one standout game. I remember that, I suppose. Yeah, when a player has a game like that, you're it's stuck in your minds. So hopefully, he just needs a bit more consistency. That's all. That's all. And he can, he's showing he's a goal scorer. Pretty early in the season still. So oh, Dobre he. He slowed. He slowed a little bit. He didn't go 100%, but we eventually won it back. <sighs> Come on. We're still pushing 10 minutes to remain in this one. Do we go with another change? Honda ooh, has a knock. Can't risk him. Let's uh, bring on Antonis. Going to have to drop into central midfield, though. Yeah, advanced playmaker. Play him in his best role. And, yeah, they're all changes we uh, can really make right now. Uh, we might have to step the tempo up to much higher and even go extremely direct. We're going to shoot on site uh, for now and try and hit some early crosses in, maybe. And we've got those low crosses in now. So, let's see. We're pushing. We're pushing for that equalizer. It would make for a pretty entertaining game if we get to see a late highlight. Come on. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. Four minutes of added time. Show something, can't. Far oh, man. That's normally when a lot of highlights come, but <laughs> what can we say? What can we say? Uh, no late goal in this one, uh, seems to be. So still that corner goal. I think that cost us. Uh, that cost us, that set piece. Uh, I thought it was fairly tight. I felt the game as a whole was fairly tight. Uh, we had decent chances. They had chances of their own, so... Yeah, maybe say that's a bit unlucky. A bit unlucky. Like I said, that corner goal, which was initially saved by the keeper. They just got it on the rebound. So I thought that was a bit, uh, just a tad unlucky. And Honda, yeah, that's just a tight hamstring. So I'm pretty happy we subbed him off early there because it could have turned into something worse. If he's got a tight hamstring, kept on playing him, yeah, he might have been more permanently injured there. So, ooh, Tony Popovich. He's interested in Barbarossa, so yeah, uh, Barbarossa is running out of his contract, and he's 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 unhappy at the club. But nothing throughout this season happened to make him unhappy. It was more so there was interest from other clubs, and with the mix with that, his contract is running out. Yeah, so he wanted to leave. So guys, uh, this is just going to be a shorter video. Normally, I would play two games an episode just for the fact uh, you know I'm a bit busier at the moment. Wanted to get this video uh, quickly out to you guys today. So hope you appreciate that. Like I said, uh, smash the thumbs up. Um, on the weekend, hopefully we'll get going. I'm thinking about kicking things off with a stream, whether it'll be on Twitch or or YouTube. Let me know, should I stream on YouTube or Twitch, or should I stream on both? Like I said, uh, once I'm moved, I'm going to be focused on YouTube full-time, and extremely, maybe even more so than <laughs> YouTubers that do full YouTube full-time. 
um, and do very well on YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I just want to spend like so much time. I want, I suppose the situation I'm going to be in to reflect on YouTube, like my content and how well my videos do, because I'm going to be able to do like so much content and focus on YouTube hundred percent. That's what I want to do. So yeah, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the content that will be coming. Just keep your eyes peeled for that lads, because yeah, plenty of stuff coming and I'll catch you guys next time.